channel. In this video, you will learn more about autonomous vehicles. If you haven't watched the previous video about introduction to self-driving cars, click on the link provided in the description box. So let's get into the topic. First, let us see about the various types of sensors used by the autonomous vehicles to operate. It is because of these sensors, the vehicle can operate without a driver. Autonomous vehicles use sensors like GPS, where the signals from the GPS, global positioning system, satellites are combined with the readings, altimeter, and gyroscopes to provide more accurate positioning. This is made possible only by using GPS. The next main sensor used is the LIDAR, which stands for light detection and ranging. LIDAR sensors bounce pulses of light off the surroundings. These are analyzed to identify lane markings and edges of the roads. Additional LIDAR units are used to detect the objects close to the vehicle or in blind spots. These additional LIDAR units are placed in front of the vehicles. Then, the video cameras. The video cameras are used to detect traffic light, read road signs, keep track of the position of other vehicles and look out for pedestrians and obstacles on the road. Additional stereo cameras are used to capture 2D pictures to detect the objects. Next it is the radar sensor. As you know, radar stands for radio detection and ranging. These radar sensors are placed both at the front and back side of the car. It monitors the position of all the other vehicles nearby. It uses electromagnetic waves in certain bands to reflect off an object and determine its speed and distance. The ultrasonic sensors may be used to measure the position of objects very close to the vehicle such as crops and other vehicles when parking as they have low resolution. They are placed in the left and right side of the vehicle. The odometry sensors are used to calculate the distance traveled by the vehicles with the wheel speed. These are the most common sensors used in an autonomous vehicle. The information from all of the sensors is analyzed by a central computer that manipulates the steering, accelerometer, and brakes. Its software must understand the rules of the road, both formal and informal. Thus, the vehicle can be automated. The main computer is located in the trunk of the vehicle and connected to all the sensors around the car. Additional sensors can also be used. But more the sensors the vehicle uses, more complicated the sensor fusion becomes. Let's see about the sensor fusion in the next video. See you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.